Hey, welcome back! We're gonna finish up the Lego Friends Heart Lake City Hospital today, the new one for 2024. It feels like a refurbished version of the previous one, like a slightly upgraded version with a little lift. It's so cute! Because so if you haven't seen the first part of this, make sure you check it out because we are now heading into bag number seven. We're pretty far into this. Not a whole heap left to go, but so many fun details still to see, including the maternity ward where Mary Joy, where is she? Mary Joy is about to have two twin boys oh my gosh <laughs> she's gonna know she's alive oh my god oh my gosh they just like flick look look at this in slow mo <laughs> we've just flicked the baby across the room that's okay we got a spare so <laughs> sorry, hold on give me it i'll go get the other one Okay, I've dusted all the cobwebs off it from being, uh, yeah, under my desk. Okay, so Mary Joy has now got her twin boys, one slightly bruised. Don't worry, newborns are surprisingly resilient. Oh, God, Lord. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Mary Joy is having a tough time of it today. Let's, let's build the maternity ward, get her a bed to get into, some cribs for these poor babies, because if I'm left in charge any longer, yeah, it might... <laughs> end so well but like as I was saying newborns are surprisingly resilient I mean you probably shouldn't flick them across the room but that's not something that generally happens only when you're building Lego okay speaking of building Lego we have got a little bed of some description here it looks like with the little black bit on the bottom it looks like it's yeah it's designed to go up and down so it's a surgery bed so this is maybe oh actually maybe it's like for the labor ward yeah okay all right so because we've got I mean Mary Joy is waiting outside there in, in her wheelchair with her babies that well have technically not been birthed yet if we're still getting the oh this is not okay this is not a labor ward at all so we have got a little cabinet with a a syringe in it and a pen and on the computer screen is an image of Autumn's new prosthetic hand so we actually get a spare we get two of them in here now because this is the part of the build where Autumn actually gets it I have tried it on her already and she gets this surprised face as well this alternate expression which is it's it's unclear to me whether she's happy with this or not. I mean, surprised is surprised. It doesn't necessarily have to mean one way or the other. I would assume, just like with anything, getting prosthetic hand is a big, it's a big deal. And getting used to something like that too would be... It could be quite overwhelming. So maybe that's what's happening. Maybe that's what her face is all about. Now, this is obviously not a labor ward. This is a doctor's surgery. There, there are wheels on the wall and I don't know why, <laughs> but on this wall, we've got a little image of how to use the prosthetic hand. And I love the little, like, the little inside a mini doll <laughs> image too. And on the other side, we've got some stuff for the maternity ward. Oh my gosh, that's so cute with the penance. Oh, okay, so this is on that side. Those images we can see on the other side. There's not a lot of room here in the surgery. Let's uh, let's actually try and get our doctor in here with her. It is snug, but there's just enough room. <laughs> yeah, okay. No chairs for the doctors, though. She's too much on the go. She's got no time to sit down. But working in here in the maternity ward, this is, well, this is the funnest part. This is so cute. So we've got a light yellow lining around the room. This here is going to go on those little double jumper stud things. This is the maternity ward bed. So this is definitely a, yeah, this is a, like, it's like a little gurney bed kind of. It's designed to be able to move, be moved around. We can pop Mary Jo's tumbling babies everywhere. We'll give them to Brendan, to uh, nurse Brendan, because he can afford to do something. He was lying around before with a bandage on his arm, but he's fine now. He's fine. That was just what happened while we weren't looking. So we've got Okay, this is where we're going to have a little separating wall here. Oh, that's cute. We've got a tiny partition windowy section so you can see into whatever the next room is going to be. Yeah, some more substantial structure going on on the top to build those walls up. If you remember down on the bottom level, it's actually quite high. Okay, on here we've got a little ledge for a baby bottle. And this is... <gasps> this is the first of the cribs! Ah! Uh, okay, this is really cute! So this is M... <laughs> this is... Oh, I, don't, I don't know who this is going to be. Let's give it... This is going to be Jason. This is Jason's crib with a little heart and a rubber ducky. Let's get him from Brendan. I mean, they're identical. How am I going to know? Of course you know. A mother always knows, except when they get it wrong. Now we've got... Oh, there's like, that's really cute that there's actually a little uh, mobile above it. But, I mean, babies at this newborn age cannot... Their eyes can't focus on there. But it looks cute. Doesn't matter. It looks cute. That's all we care about. And this, this little crib is orange-based, whereas the other one was a blue... And got 
the same sort of accent colors on it though. <gasps> and here we go. This is Iman's bed. Oh, with the little mushroom and the star. I love the graphics on these stickers. They're so cute. <laughs> and the matching, yeah, matching mobile because it wouldn't do for one to have something that was better or different than the others. Oh my goodness, identical twins. I can't even. So let's pop these. So they're on little wheel things so they're not actually going to attach down onto the base plate but they do fit there into the grooves kind of this room for poor Mary Joy snugged in there with her two babies <laughs> never sleeping again for the foreseeable future for the next 15 years good luck Mary Joy we see you you are seen <laughs> she can't even fit here in front of the cribs maybe I put them in the wrong spot maybe they need to go a little bit further back there, there we go. There, we, <laughs> there. Don't bump the cribs. If the babies are sleeping, just run away. Run away and let them sleep. Okay. Now, in this little side roomy kind of thing here. Oh, it's not going to be a room. It's going to be a little courtyard. Oh, that's nice. She can come out and take a bit of air, which because you do, you you feel very trapped when you're in the maternity ward with your babies. It is a very, very exhausting, wondrous experience. I'm not selling this. <laughs> <laughs> this having children thing, am I? They're lovely. They're wonderful. They're also exhausting. <laughs> okay, this here is a really fantastic, big, curved. Oh, this is going to be a whole partition that we can actually open up. I'm trying to think where is it like the roof line? We've got a little ball joint there to grab onto as a handle. Oh, why would we want to open up the roof? Maybe so the helicopter could land in the roof. That would be loud, but cool. Let's put this up here, get another bit of curved glass going in. Obviously, I've misinterpreted this. This is not for the roof line. This is this is the glass panel or the walling to make that little lift section on the side integrate really nicely and really accessible to the rest of the hospital. Oh, that looks really good. I didn't even think about that. I just kind of assumed that the that the lift was going to be entirely exposed on the side. So that's so nice. It's so tidy. So we've got a little tiny cornery bit, which is just where the baby bottle is stored. So it's a little tiny extension on the maternity ward. Getting some of the plates down along the top. Uh, this is going to go along the top of the lift. I just realized something. You can't actually get from the lift to the maternity ward. So the lift is a lovely idea, but it kind of ends at the doctor's surgery because there aren't any big doors through there because that would take up a lot of space. So it's a nice idea for a little bit of a play element. It's not terribly realistic, but it's nice. It's it's fun. They, the designers are working with, with, you know, obviously limited part count and space. And But I mean, the, the space that we do have is just packed full of playable details. They're so cute. The stuff in the maternity ward is just adorable. Okay, this is a great structure to hold the curved roof line. See, I wasn't so far off the mark. There is a curved roof line. So that little, yeah, that little partition that I was actually covering the lifts could have been the roof, but it wasn't. Okay, bag number nine. Now we get to fill in some really cute details. There's a there's a tree on the side and I just love building the new trees in the friends line with all of these new elements. They just, uh, they're so much simpler, but they look so much nicer than using what we've had available before. So we've got this new leaf piece, like this leaf bunch piece, bundles, bundles of leaves in one piece in green, uh, in this, uh, we're seeing that quite a bit now, but yeah, this is the first time I've used it in green. It's in such a beautiful purple color in Ollie and Paisley's house, like a jacaranda, but yeah, green's obviously a more, a more normal color for a, for a tree up here in our courtyard. I'd forgotten what I was calling it courtyard. We've got some glassed railing kind of things or a glass fencing and very modern, very nice and chic. And there's a little seat there to sit on. That's, there's not a lot of space out there, but it's just enough to come out and take the air. Some pretty foliage going around the edges, which just softens it all up, makes it fit in nicely with the landscape as well, rather than this big stark building. Oh, nice, very pretty. And in the boxes out the front, which I struggled to build because I was getting so tired and confused at the end of the last part of the build. These are our window boxes. They're cute. They got little ferns in them, a little bit of foliage and a little bit more up here on the very top. Whose job is it to go around and water all of this? Maybe, maybe <laughs> like City is in a country that gets a nice regular amount of rain rainfall, so they don't need to go and water stuff. Okay, we have got some white 
branch branch kind of things? No, these are some solar panels. So little tiny solar panel stickers to go on top of individual streetlight kind of things. That's really cool. So we've got two of these. I don't know where these are going though. I love this though. I mean, solar panel streetlights are uh, are a thing here in Australia. It's nice to see them. Oh, oh, that's what those little those little parts were for out the front. So they're just to light on either side of the doors. That's really nice. And these are some computer monitors, which are not computer monitors. They are some more solar panels, just a little bit. I mean, they're not going to run the whole hospital, obviously, but they're going to offset some of the yeah offset some of the expenses of running running a hospital. Okay, on the very top is a little satellite dish kind of thing. Uh, we, I mean, apparently there are always satellite dishes on the top of tops of buildings. I don't pay any attention to the tops of buildings, but, but we know we need it so that we can stay in contact with a helicopter maybe. All right, this is what we have. We are almost done. We just need the big the big hospital emblem. So we've got a turquoise, dark turquoise heart shaped plate, which is brand new in this color. And the colors going on it are coral and the light nougat, yellow for the accent, like a uh, heartbeat monetary kind of thing. That's so pretty. It goes so nicely with all the rest of the color scheme. This bit goes on the back. And then when we take this up, up, up to the top, it actually clips onto those two little clips. Oh, I forgot to put the light on the the light on the satellite dish so we know it's working. It clips onto those clips at the front. That's so neat. I love, I really love the colors in this. They're really fresh and happy. Like the, the original one, which was my very favorite hospital. I love the whole look of it. The color scheme of it is quite uh, staid. Whereas this is, yeah, this is fresh and vibrant and it just makes the whole thing. I mean, going to a hospital can be a very stressful, <laughs> very stressful circumstance. So it's nice to have something that you're going to be looking at on the horizon out there in Heart Lake City that has just got this really, really fresh, bubbly exterior aspect. It's really pretty. Okay, we have got a helicopter. There's also an ambulance, which is in a secondary set to this. So I'm going to build that really soon. So it, it's going to make a nice add on to this as well. I think I don't know what story is happening with the ambulance, but I'm going to yeah, I'm looking forward to finding out when I build it. I mean, we could be sending it to Mary Joy's house, picking her up, ready to come into the hospital to go into labor, get her into the wheelchair. Oh, so the story options are endless. Now you don't want to miss any of these so make sure you've subscribed, click the little notification bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this set and I'll be back with more builds really soon. So I will see you then. <laughs>